Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Pongratz and welcome to another video. So I have some really big news to share with you today. The alpha read for my current writing project, The Ruins, is complete. Yay! Okay, so I've been working on this for the past couple of years and I'm just glad that things are finally coming to a conclusion that I can finally share this story with the world. It's kind of been a passion project and I'm just glad that things are moving along so swimmingly. So in a nutshell, The Ruins is a horror fantasy novel about a, an upcoming paranormal vlogger and his boyfriend. They are going to Peru to find these ruins that they've heard about that have never been filmed before. And as they find these ruins, they dis they unearth this evil that will stop at nothing to destroy them and those that they love. And so I want to share also a longer blurb that I've been working on. Here goes. Tyler Collins has it all. Good looks, the perfect boyfriend, and a paranormal vlogging career on the precipice of greatness. Pursuing his dreams of hosting his own paranormal TV show with the backing of his agent, Tyler and his boyfriend Gabe traveled to the small village of Altalona, Peru in search of the legendary ruins of Ayarcachi. Unfamiliar with their surroundings, they quickly exhaust their options, but when all seems lost, a twist of fate leads them to their dis destination. The ruins of Ayarcachi have lain dormant for centuries, a foreboding palace of crumbling stone and strange symbols that has never been filmed by a living being. Eager to make their aspirations of success a reality, Tyler and Gabe descend into the depths, unknowing of the great peril they have placed themselves in. For within the ancient grounds lies a great evil, one that threatens the lives of anyone who enters and will stop at nothing until its hunger for the living is sated. Sounds pretty ominous, huh? So that's kind of that's kind of my vibe with all of my works. I kind of want to get the get the get the hairs on the back of your arms standing at end and you know all of that um so i want to say that while i am done with this alpha read um and i'm finishing up some last touches this is um there is more of a process to this so it will still be a while before it gets published um but while you wait with bated breath um it's still a really good time if you would like to check out my other works on my website. And so you can see the details of that in the description of this video. And I highly encourage you to check it out if you wanna get to know me better. I have a couple of works that are available for free on Kindle Unlimited, and feel free to take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, back to the writing process. So, I originally wanted to complete the alpha read within about a month. It ended up taking me about twice as long. Um, that's mainly due to, you know, my obligations outside of writing, but I'm just glad that I was able to get it done. You know what I mean? Um, because I am juggling a lot of other things right now, um, and I'm not a full-time writer, unfortunately, as much as I would love that. <laughs> so for those who don't know what an alpha read is, uh, it's basically a way for an author to share their upcoming publications with an audience and kind of get the opinions that are more crucial to them. Uh, when you work as an author, and I am so guilty of this, I always get tunnel vision and I may not see things, even, however simple they may be, that others can pick up and be like, hey, what about this? Or hmm, this doesn't sound quite right. Um, so it's really important to get those opinions and I cannot be grateful enough for my alpha read group. I, over the years, I have established a small collective of friends, readers, uh, and fellow authors that, you know, will give me my two cents and help me uh, edit my works. And so it, it really makes a great impact. So thank you guys so much. Um, it just, it means the world to me. So over the next week, I'll be looking at some like finishing touches 
and I'll uh, finalize the draft for The Ruins, and then I will be sending it to a small press publisher. So the review process usually takes a few weeks, maybe a month, maybe even more in some circumstances. Um, but basically they're reviewing my work, seeing if it's marketable, um, and then they'll hopefully get back to me soon and let me know. I have not yet submitted, but I will be soon. Um, this is a distinct move from self-publishing. I used to self-publish my works. The first three works that were published uh, were indeed self-published, but it's just, I really want that support from a publisher to know that somebody's got my back other than just me. You know what I mean? Well, you maybe, maybe you don't, but um, <laughs> it makes things a lot easier and also a lot more cost effective if you go through a publisher of some sort. And while they're looking at the ruins and reviewing things, uh, in the meantime, I will be uh, continuing to work on other projects. There is a project that I'm working on with a fellow author from across the pond, and I'm really excited to get started on that. There is also a sequel to The Ruins that I'm working on, and I'm still in the plotting phase, just figuring out how everything is going to work, but I fully intend on this being a series, as well as having a complete spin-off series, and even possible other standalone novels in the same universe. So I'm really embarking on a really big step here. <laughs> so that's my update in a nutshell. Uh, wish me luck. I wish you the same with anything that you're working on as well. Perseverance, it pays. And yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and all those things. And I will check you guys next time. Bye!